Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Zolasa Free. Before we officially jump into this, you're probably thinking, Lego, you didn't say there was going to be another Zolasa Free video until November 20th. I did say that, and I wasn't wrong. Until now. Yeah, uh, if you are watching this in the playlist, you may have realized, uh, I miscounted by two episodes. Oh my god. I miscounted by two episodes. In reality, that was episode 97 and not episode 99. Go get 33 if you're watching the video. Thank you so much for informing me about this. I thought that that was episode 99 last time. Holy frick. Thank you, man, for informing me. Yeah, this is actually episode 98. The next episode on November 13th will be episode 99. And then, when we were actually going to do episode 100 on November 20th, is still planned. Speaking of which, a little more info regarding this is in the book. Sorry about that, I just forgot to put my screen in place. Now you can see the time. Uh, below there. It's like 819. Anyway, um, and that's actually quite surprising considering how long the Halloween party took to make. Uh, well, just to take down. Dear God, I don't even understand or even know how many hours it took to clean up. It took forever. I want to say, I want to say a maximum eight hours if I had to guess correctly. If I had to guess, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it right now and I'm going to say like eight hours. The next book is Zoza Free in Peace. Because it sure is. Except that everyone is still dead. Hey everyone, peace is finally restored to Inzolza 3. The haunted castle is no more and we can finally start preparing for when we hit the 100th Zolza 3 video on November 20th. Oh, speaking of which. Apparently Lego was miscounted by two episodes. He fought... The Defeating Evil Sheet Leader episode on November 5th was episode 99. Sadly, it was actually 97. He had mistaken it for thinking he did episodes on July 3rd and 10th, but that didn't happen. From Lego Master 627. Sorry for confusing you all who watched that episode. Looks like I wasn't paying attention to the Zola Zap Free playlist lately. And then it goes back to Flowership saying, yeah. Now to prepare you all for this, the November 2022 catalog has released, or just released. Upcoming events, November 13th, 100th episode party construction begins, November 20th, as you've been seeing in the last few books, the 100th episode party will begin, and lastly, which was only recently added in the previous book, November 27th, the 100th episode party will end. Which gives us three weeks until the Christmas event on December 18th. But actually, December 4th, there is going to be a one-day mini-event uh, to celebrate the um, one-year anniversary since the first ever Operation Zola's Eve. So please be on the lookout for that in like the next four episodes um, on Sunday, December 4th. Basically, to be exact, right here. Yeah, we're doing a little mini event on just like that one day to celebrate. And then we get to the Christmas event 13 days later on December 18th after that has commenced on the 5th. Anyway, let's get back to the actual thing here. See you on November 13th for when the construction begins for this milestone party, everyone. Trust us. We're going all out for a milestone we should have hit here two to three years ago! <laughs> we should have been at 200 already by Flower Sheep and Lego. Uh, yeah, we aren't wrong. We should not have taken five years to get to episode 100. We're not wrong. We should have been at episode 200 by now. It should not have taken us five years to get to this milestone. I'm not even joking. We really should have actually been here uh, in around like 2019 or 2020 at the least. At least 2019. Unfortunately, I then remembered we weren't really that active with this series back then. Thankfully, starting in 2021 slash mostly 2022, 
actually pretty much already starting in 2020, we started getting active with this series again. And actually, throughout all of Zola's F Freeze life, we pretty, were pretty much active with it. Of course, there were many hiatuses along the way, which has pretty much brought up to why we took so long to get to this milestone. It's pretty much why it's taken this long to get to this milestone. But thankfully, that's all about to change. No, seriously, we really should have been at 200 by now. I'm not even joking, we really should have already been there. As usual, this book is already in the library. So yes, as you guys can see, the entire world of Zola's F3 is back to normal from the Halloween party, and yes, I literally mean everywhere. Trust me, I made sure not to miss a single spot before filming. Right before filming this video, as usual, I did update that catalog. So um, we can throw this book away because we already, again, already have it in the library. As usual, because that's where all the books go. Also, I finally changed this back to its correct color. And uh, this back to its correct floor after like a good three months. I don't know why it took me so long to do that. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Which is actually kind of sad if you think about it. Actually, it kind of not even is. It's not even considered. Oh! Uh, looks like I forgot to fix this, uh, apparently. Uh, my bad, guys. Uh, let me fix that real quick. I just realized now that uh, that wasn't fixed originally. So, yeah. Give me one sec. Much better. Yeah, that actually works. Actually. Uh, what works better? That works better. Alright, no, but seriously, um, yeah, we have a catalog to showcase as well. Um, oh yeah, I might keep the netherite sword like I did for, like, Zola's up too. Comment down below if you'd like to see that, if you'd like me to keep that, because I've been, uh, we've been kind of, uh, using the diamond sword for a little too long. Now, of course, on Lego's Island, this is not going to be the case. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm obviously going to keep that diamond sword. Oh, no. I still love that. Trust me, that ain't getting replaced. Oh, no, 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 no. Diamond Sword is here to stay on Legos Island. Oh, speaking of which, um, I am recording this prior to making that episode, actually. Although, granted, I might actually upload this after that episode goes up. So, yeah. So we can stay consistent with ZL3 being the last video on these days. As usual, Flower Sheep is the only one alive. And, yeah, that will not be the case much longer. Hopefully, on November 7th, the day the Halloween party be um, well, the day the Halloween party ends for the Creations World, we will finally get to that. We weren't able to do it here on November sixth because Rose Crystal was extremely busy, and secondly, I was actually extremely busy cleaning up this entire Halloween party. Yeah, there's a reason I'm filming this video at the time that I am. It took freaking hours. Again, I'm gonna guess and say eight hours. So yeah, we'll do the Season 8 Episode 7 on November 7th, right before I clean up the Halloween party. Because it makes more sense to keep that up during that episode, because um, it's actually required that we actually keep it up. Like, I'm not even joking, it's actually required for that episode that we actually keep it up. Um, anyway, like I said, we have a catalog to showcase. Let's finally get down there after, like, nearly nine minutes. But yeah, here's your proof that everything is back normal. But actually, I do have an update for you in the HQ, actually. Uh, give me one sec. Yeah, let's go down there real quick. I actually just remember that now. We actually have an update down here. So, probably the only update is, well, see you in 2023. Because there are no more missions here. In Zola's F3 until sometime in 2023. No clue when that's going to be. Honestly, I hope it isn't for a while, because, uh, yeah. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> just needed to update that, because it was still, um, outdated from the Halloween event. Like, up there, for example. And don't worry, everything's cleaned up. Yeah, trust me, everything's clean. Um, from that Halloween party. Actually, now that I think about it, give me one second. I'm actually going to change that back to the glow item frame because I actually really like those. I still love the original item frame, don't get me wrong. Oh. Oh. I guess there is a reason I am removing this. Apparently, I didn't put these lights back. 
My back, guys. Let me do that right now. Alright, and then let me reform this map. Just a bit. Ta-da! Done! Only needed to turn them once. There we go. Nice, right? Yep, everything's back to the way they should be. Anyway, we don't need these maps anymore. Uh, until the next time we update it for the 100th episode party, or actually the construction. But yeah, next operation here is sometime in 2023. I have no clue when it is. Kind of hope it's a long time from now, because yeah, I'm kind of getting kind of done with these uh, mission events. And then you realize there's November 2022 event for ZL2 and Legos Island are mission based events. Hey, at least it isn't here! We've been doing a lot of mission based events here lately. I think it's time to cut ourselves a little bit of a break here. For ZL2, it's fine considering we haven't had one in a while since before the Halloween party. So that would make sense. But as for ZL3, dear god, we've had a lot lately. We've had operation events like every month since like September. I think it's time to cut a little bit of a break here. I guess the same could be said for Legos of Halloween, but there hasn't been much lately. And plus the Halloween event was like the only mission, the only Halloween party out of like the creations world not to be mission based. So that's something. Well, we're talking inside Minecraft, not like the backyard. Uh, November 2022 catalog, however. Let's open it up the book and, uh, let's see what we got. And I obviously made this prior to filming, of course. Clothing catalog, November 2022. 100th episode theme, of course, because we're celebrating the 100th episode in, like, the next two weeks, which means the next two episodes. If you're watching this far into the future in the playlist, just to make things more, uh, understandable. No, but really, though... We got the party hat, the 100th episode shirt, the 100th episode balloons, the 100th episode shades, the 100th episode scarf, the 100th episode shoes, the fireworks background, and the 100th episode background. I know, I know, I know I go through these catalogs rather quickly, but that's because there's not much in them. There's normally like 8 items total. Because we don't want to get these catalogs way too big, and plus also I can't really think of that many creative items. So that's why we always do like eight of them or something. Of course, we have the previous catalogs. Uh, there used to be the August 2020 catalog in here. I accidentally got rid of it by accident, so I have to actually remake it. So uh, that can explain why there's a missing one there. Yeah, I accidentally threw it out from like two years ago by complete accident, so I gotta remake that. But yeah. Oh, uh, looks like we forgot to turn off the mobs from the Halloween part. I'm gonna have to go tell Rose because to do that sometime. Maybe not today, but uh, if we go down here, and dear God, this is still here from the color party. Maybe we'll finally have it updated for the 100th episode party. Maybe that'll be something we can do. Uh, we actually have to go in here, though. There's actually one last thing, and that's because this is now here. The 100th episode party. I forgot to add it in here until now. So yeah, it's here now. And yeah, that's the set list for the rest of the year. Of course, we're not really going to count the Operation Zolosab mini event in here. Because we're only talking the main line events here. So of course, like four weeks after this party is the Christmas one from December 18th ending January 1st. So literally three days after the ZL2 one begins. And also would be the last Christmas event I even have to make that year. Which is going to be nice. Because, uh, fun fact, the same thing actually happened last year too. Uh, if you guys recall. So yeah, it's kind of being, history is kind of repeating itself. Except the only difference this time is the Legos Island one is going to be the first one to go up and not the Creations World one. Yeah, we haven't seen that in like, uh, two years. That's serious, actually. I'm pumped that I don't think the Lego Diamond one has ever actually been the first one to go up. At least... I think since 2018. So that's actually going to be quite surprising for the first time in like four years. The Lego Diamond one's going to be the first one to go up out of all five Christmas events in like four years. 
That's actually really awesome. Yeah, I gotta get rid of uh, this room design. Well, no, 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 not the actual room itself. No, 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 just talking about all this purple. I gotta change it back to stone because that's actually how it's supposed to look like. Yes, unfortunately, Goldie is not here ruling the balcony because remember, he's dead. Alongside everyone else that isn't flower sheep. Literally. Yeah, you'd think they would all return by the time the Halloween party ends. And that was the original intention. But apparently, remember, Evil Sheet Leader tricked us. So nobody's here except for me and Flower Shape. And I guess Rose Crystal, if you can count her, because she's the owner of this world. That would make sense. I mean, she is the owner of this world, after all, so it would make sense that she's here, too. So only three of us are alive! At the moment. As of recording this video, we're the only three alive. At least down here. I guess, aside from the special lab sheep and the UFO sheep, apart from that, we're basically the only ones alive. So, yeah. With that being said, I know, I know, I know, I should start going with all the dark stuff considering Halloween is over anyway. Uh, but hopefully by next episode, everyone will be back. And just in time, too, because, yeah, we're two weeks away until this milestone party. It's going to be a fun episode. And yes, obviously, I'm going to get Rose Crystal in here. Why do you think we would not have this episode without her? She's the owner of Dolls Have Free. You know she's going to be in this episode. Every single lab milestone has to include her. And that's actually serious. See you all in the next episode on Sunday, November 13th, for when we do construction for the 100th episode party that will come out on November 20th. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the actual 99th episode next time. For real this time. I promise you, I'm not miscounting again. This is actually going to be the 99th episode next time. I promised you that for real this time. Okay, I'm done here. Nope, like seriously, I'm actually done here. I have no other reason to be here. So, uh... Bye-bye! Frick, I needed that still open for Lagos Island. God dang it.